the night, the night, the thief, the beauty, the big pink house, wild animals and every star in the sky. I could not control my youthful self, a thief. I stole everything. I could not be stopped and nobody even dared try. I was that wild animal on a high limb at the big pink house, a mansion on the hill where I wreaked havoc. I did. I first laid eyes on that magnificent godlike creature in a hallway of pink doorways. Behind each one, tales of Hollywood. This beautiful storm, this storm passed me in that hallway. How she raged. Not a train wreck yet, but soon to be one. Right then and there, I was smitten. The film, the job, call it what you will. My introduction to Hollywood. My introduction to just not giving a fuck. Led me to the edge and dropped me. Falling, falling for this exotic wildcat. Beauty. The job meant nothing. I had simply never been a beast of burden. I did not know that beauty and intellect existed on such a level. A lesson in being a heavy load carried. I was too stupid to even fathom what I was about to learn in lessons. Smack the ruler, hit my hand hard. I could not feel a thing. This was my introduction to the world. A new world, a world much bigger than my own. God saved me, us. And each time I passed by the dog, the cat, the flamingo, she, her, every one of those animals, I felt charged by a herd of wild horses. Deafening, pounding, she came at me. My heart in my throat, and that was just my top half. I felt run over, trampled on, knocked and dragged by this cowboy's spurs straight into the big pink house. This was not a cookie jar, this was a woman fire alarms and everything. Eleven years, she told me. I was oblivious to any conversation. And to be honest, I couldn't care less. A life so very far from my own. I mean, dare I even say such words? Dare I even introduce myself to a life I had nothing to do with? It was a ridiculous notion. Simply ridiculous notion. And this fever I had was absurd. I mean, why? How? Who wrote this entry into my life's journal? It was not me, I swear. It was not me. This was a fire set for me to walk into. This was arson. And we burned it all down at the big pink house. All else in our lives vanished. Western movie star and I shared a fat one. A naked python in a pink hallway, and I was naked too. I shared my soup and bared our souls in a kitchen built for twenty. And the Wilbury settled for the night, and the poet baby blew. She was taken, and so was I. And all of a sudden, there was no one else noticed. Hands held a bit too long, eyes lingered a bit too long. This was not a stage fight, this was an all-out brawl. A drama, for sure. I was a reckless child, and she was hungry to feel vulnerable. I was the night this night. My heart pulled around, and she could have drowned in it. If I hadn't reached in to save her, she might have. This was a silent film, slow motion, fucking train wreck. And who would pick up the pieces? I remember watching from the balcony as all else in our lives vanished, and I was the guilty party. I forget party, I was the guilty circus. The big top, big animals and reckless beasts. The big ride, the big pink house. It all came rushing fast and Coconut Grove was way behind us, yet again. And he went down the drive and up came the most trepidatious time in my life. And eventually, those big iron gates of the big pink house would shut. Hollywood was all around me. Now only Hollywood knows those stories. And they're locked behind the big pink doors and tall palms. And I, the thief, made one of the greatest choices of my life. Hollywood was all around me. The faces I grew up with, 
sang along with, sat in the dark with, eyes on them as colored lights bounced off my face, or the mercury from the revival house, black and white, flickering off my face. I shook hands with those who made the big screen pop, and the big pink house, it was a parade, it was a palace of the time, with many stars from long ago and far away, next to the sun, the moon, Jupiter and Mars. They worked and played in Hollywood as I write my stomach rolls. Timothy Leary, leering from a drape-swept hallway. I knocked and she answered, and we fell hard and fast, faster and faster. I just remembered two words from that time. She said softly, slow down, slow down. <laughs> Trains and planes, state to state, country to country, coast to coast, we never did slow down, discovering new beasts in the wild. I left that film behind me, long gone, and so did she, like it was never even shot. I'll speak for myself, I could not give a shit. And there was a captain of that shit, and I was the pirate that pillaged that shit. And that captain would never speak the pirate's name again, because he was a scoundrel, parrot and all, more wrong done by me. Wasted celluloid, and this boy couldn't care less. My selfishness, my arrogance, it was not of this world, not anymore. There was nobody else but us. Horizontal was rare those days. Hand in hand, kiss to kiss, lived and loved, we convinced music makers and Hollywood shakers. I stuck around and so did she. We followed suit, we worked and played. Me, barely an earthling, barely touching the ground. Her, the clever beauty adored. Out in the world and driving fast in Cali. Dare I say more? That place, LA, the devil's lair. Italy, blood in my blood. In his home on the beach outside Roma, the king of Italian cinema gifted me the slice with the coin in it. Fucking romantic. Beauty beat me with culture. An intellect far beyond my own. I had become successful and did not even know it. I had always looked up to all those shining stars in the sky, but did not have the reach to touch them. Not really, and I still don't. Stop dreadful ways. I could not be trusted. Felt caught in a trap that I had laid for others. I gnawed a limb off to release myself. The makings of a real shithill. I never got caught. Don't get caught. A mantra for the weak-minded. <laughs> blah, blah. Another desperate act. My not-so-young wild ways. A toll for me to pay. And the higher I floated, the heavier I became. A succession of crashes. And we killed ourselves in each and every accident. And each time we weathered it, each time the dust settled, we had taken each other out. Missing limbs, memory loss, the whole kitten caboodle, the whole shebang. The weight, the weight, a cross we could not bear. Trepidatious was our way until it was no more. The ups and downs and nosebleeds, and love making at such a height, the air was scarce up there. I love the highest tower, I love the lightning storm that struck it. Frankenstein sized freaks, and beauty held me in her palm as I grew heavy, too heavy. And then suddenly it happened this miracle, gifted by the gods. This event in my life, it shoved me, it pushed me, it held me by the ear and it scolded me. And one night, I looked out into the ocean as the wind from the ocean sprayed my face. I screamed, who were you gonna be? The thief of the night or the night? When will I stop dying a thousand deaths? When will I take myself seriously? Because no one else will. Life wagged its finger at me, the wet dog, as if the ocean could answer back. I was asking myself the question, and I still don't have an answer. A beauty gifted us an addition to our lives, the greatest of all responsibilities. And I, I didn't know who I was or how to find me. My voice battled the wind off the ocean. As I said, who the fuck are you? 
find yourself. And beauty held me in her palm until I got too heavy. And then she let me go. I spun the stories that kept the lies. I answered calls. I got the jobs. I wore myself too thin. I never stopped pretending. I was the actor after all. I did my job with better care. My failures and my three steps backwards changed me in those many years. My piracy had ended, but a parrot still shat on my shoulder. The nostalgia of it all. This night. This night. And I still visit the wild animals. The moon, the stars. And all those thieves that took my place, how their sacks of loot get heavy. The big pink house is still on the hill, though all the stars have fallen. I think of how bright they shined, and that house that kept the crime, and that miracle that happened. The one who truly loves me. That breaks my fragile heart. That knows my trek and my way. Just with one condition: that I acknowledge her as the night daughter, the black pearl. Now all living things, and the stars now sit at her feet. The night. The night. The thief. The beauty, the big pink house, and all the stars in the sky. All said and done.